Hey, what's going on, all you ghouls and ghosts out there? My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, Mouthing Out with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But on tonight's episode, we're just going to have a little update um, on the uh, current state of affairs. Uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, I've been missing a lot of my normally scheduled reaction videos for the 4 p.m. slot. And I do apologize for that, but um, there is a good reason why I haven't been able to uh, do anything like that. We received some pretty uh, devastating news uh, from my mother-in-law, my wife's mother. Uh, within doing the Christmas, the first half of the Christmas queue, um, we found out that she had a brain tumor the size of a walnut. And uh, we've been dealing with uh, her uterine cancer for at least over a year now, and she was making good progress with that. And then this was maybe five, six days ago now. Um, she was at the store with her sister and her sister's boyfriend. And she uh, started exhibiting stroke-like symptoms. She couldn't like remember. She couldn't say people's names correctly. She didn't know where she was. So we convinced her to go to the emergency room. And they did a full CT scan. And that's when they found the tumor in her brain. Uh, it was originally, they said it was one inch by one inch. But um, come come out, come out to find later that this was much larger. Which, like I said, the walnut-sized uh, tumor. And it's it's been rough going at the Macabre household. Um, my wife is basically taking care of... Her mother bringing her to work, bringing her to um, all the doctors. They're currently at the neurosurgeon's uh, office uh, as as I'm making this video. Um, where they're going to do an MRI to see what kind of tumor it is, and we're gonna obviously we're gonna have uh, brain surgery coming up. Uh, and not only that, but it's also at a very prickly time around this time of year for me, uh, mentally speaking. It's four or five days since I had my my um, my brush with death. The intubation I've spoke many times about that. I'm not going to get into it in this video, but. Um, all I ask is just uh, please allow me some time, my family time, to uh, recover physically and mentally from the stress that, uh, even with, you know, just the, the, the everyday holiday stress, you know, um, there's been a couple of things that have happened with my uh, my immediate family, my, my father, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, let's just say I am, I am beyond pissed at... Uh, what has transpired and uh, our future as far as you know he, he's concerned is on thin ice as it is and we're going to have a, a quite a big uh, sit down discussion about that so uh i'm going to i'm not going to ghost this channel um but i have to take some time off from doing some of these videos uh, I, I will be doing videos here and there when i feel i have enough uh, sanity or um i'm not going to be become overwhelmed by it because i mean the, the queue as it sits right now i honestly i think it's like two to three months ahead so um i do apologize for that i i do have everybody's current requests they're going to stay as is i'm going to continue to uh, uh, take requests but i just need a couple weeks 
to get right mentally, physically, where I can be the person that I need to be for the channel. Because, you know, there, there, there's a line that a lot of YouTubers, you know, they don't cross. They don't tell you about their personal life. I, I, I don't consider myself to be a part of that ilk. And I don't mean ilk in a, in a negative connotation, but uh, I'm always going to be honest. I'm always going to be transparent. Uh, you know, there, there are certain information that I will not put out to the, it's because of, uh, you know, security issues, family issues. I don't want people doxing me or, you know, coming to my house or that sort of thing. So, you know, I, I try to keep it where, you know, I can talk to you. I can engage with you. I, you know, I'm not going to pull the wool over your eyes. I'm not going to say, well, I'm just going to completely just not, you know, update everybody on, on the current situation. So, you know, that's more of the the process here. Uh, I, I will, you know, comment as much as I can, but as far as um, I do have some other uh, Christmas things that I'm going to record probably tonight. Uh, my wife and I had already discussed uh, this will probably be my my one big last um, hurrah as far as recording. Uh, I do want to get a couple regular uh, requests done as well. I have most, if not all, of the Trailer Tuesdays and Thursdays videos that have been currently requested done. I just need to edit those. And, you know, that, that whole spiel. So there there will be some content coming in probably maybe until the 1st of January. I'm not exactly sure. I'm, that's what I'm kind of shooting for. But um, time will only tell. Uh, I appreciate each and every one, uh, one of you on this channel. Uh, you guys make it what it is. I'm just the monkey for you, you know. I'm the, I'm the gopher. Uh but uh, as Robin Williams uh, said in one uh, in Bicentennial Man, one is glad to be of service, and uh, I mean that from the heart. I truly do. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. I hope everybody uh, gets what they want for Christmas. Spending time with family, having fun. We're going to try to do that. <laughs> How? much that's going to come to fruition. I don't know, but uh, you can tell by my voice and my inflection, I'm I'm quite defeated. But, you know, as a part of life, I, I, I'm sure we will survive. We will get over it. And uh, we're going to try to kick off the new year on a positive note. So until then, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared.